Hello again. Bit of a blue sky. Lovely. That's what we're doing today. We're heading off to try and find the secret orchard. Oh yes. What secret orchard I hear you ask? Well, a secret orchard I didn't know about myself. I had a comment from Philip. Here it is on the screen. And you can read it yourself, but it basically says, when am I going to visit the other orchard? So I replied, sorry mate, uh, which other orchard is this? And he went on to tell me, and I looked it up, and I thought, blimey, I didn't know that was there. So that's where we're going today. Gonna find that. Oh yes. Wind blocker off, at least for now. A bit more ambient noise for you. For those of you wondering, I did actually win on that scratch card yesterday. I got four pounds. So I got my money back, I spent on the card, and a two pound on top, so I doubled my money. Lovely. Ah, it's not that orchard we're going to. Oh no. In fact, we're gonna go down here. Ah, see, we're not going Mules Park. So I'd do that, make a change. Lovely day. Lovely day. Of course, we're meeting up with Jeffrey in a minute to say hi. He's the guy that did all the write ups on my site for me. All the history of the docks, history of the pier, all sorts of stuff like that. Bill's phone, Timmouth, check it out. Most of his uh, pinned to the top. And you know they're his because it says underneath. Thanks, Jeffrey. Quick spot of observation on a much calmer day than the storms we've had recently. Very pleasant. And a quick glimpse up to Spray Point and Rufus. Lovely. Right, so that's lovely. I've met up with Jeffrey. He's not going to be appearing in the video, so to speak, but he is accompanying me along to Spray Point to feed Rufus. So that's lovely. Bit of company on my walk up and I will film any trains, of course, on the way. Lovely. Whee! First train of the day. Lovely, and no wind blocker. Another one. Will it be a happy train? Place your bets, place your bets. And... There we go, happy train. He's on a bit of a go slow. Definitely on a go slow. So here we go. Made it to Spray Point. Time to go and feed Rufus. Lovely. But before we feed Rufus, we'll have to see the train. Will it toot? Oh, look at that. Happy train and a big train too. Rare you see them being happy. And there we go. That's Jeffrey there, giving us the thumbs up. As he heads back off, he's left me here up at Spray Point to feed Rufus. He wanted to see the uh, sign, the Timmouth sign, see if we could get any clues on the dating. He's very interested in that, and he's going to be going to the museum, see if they can give him any assistance. But here's a train. Right, let's get that robin fed. Well, we have no peanuts, have no food, 
and a lack of bird activity. I think we've also got a train. And a happy train at that. He's happy I'm giving Rufus some breakfast. Lovely. There we go, it looks like poor offerings, doesn't it? But it's not too bad. Some of it fell out of my hand as I was putting it in the thing anyway, so it's down on the floor. Never mind. Right, let's crack on. One thing I did manage to do last night or yesterday was to finish off a little sequence about Nigel and Barbara from on top of the cinema. So hi to Nigel and Barbara if you're watching this. And uh, your thing will be coming up shortly. I just hope I haven't got any of the names wrong or any of the places wrong. <laughs> and in order to get to this secret orchard, I have to go the distance, which will mean something to Nigel. Hope you don't mind me adopting that. I'll have to go the distance and beyond to reach it, but all good. It's our delightful breakwater. There we go, I had trouble starting the phone then. Too busy talking to a couple of subscribers. Lovely. And there goes Martin and Jean, who I have met before, but they're back down for a few days, staying at the Clifton. Lovely. A little bit more than a trickle today. That's the weather we've had recently. Had a nice toot at Spray Point, indicating a happy train. And you'll be pleased to know that despite all the storms, our favourite plane is still stuck. There he is, our plane, smashing. A lot of seaweed washed up on the beach up here. There we go, another subscriber and a train. Right, let's go and find this orchard because it's not going to find itself, is it? So where is this orchard? Well, could I go down underneath the uh, railway towards the Salty Dog, which is closed today, unfortunately. That's just because it's a Tuesday. I could hear a vibration. Crazy. Babbling brook. Well, not quite, but just use your imagination. Okay, so now the slog begins. Got to walk up Smuggler's Lane. Normally, I'll... certainly a bit more difficult to walk up it than it is to walk down it. Right, so we're nearly at the top. If I go that way, I come out of the main road. If I go that way, I go to someone's private house. Apparently, though, this is where we get the access to the orchard from. Let's see if we can find it. And there it is. Waterfall. Lovely. Well, I never knew this existed. I never knew. Yes, there we are, look. Got the two statues. And the shark. Well, we'll have to have a proper look round in a sec. 
catch my breath first. There you go, that's where I came in, two stone statues. I've got a little seating area here. It says if you want to fly a drone, here's a little table for you to set up on. So I'll say thank you very much indeed. So here we go, off in the drone for an extremely quick flight. Some of it's sped up, of course. Unfortunately though, there was a little bit more wind than I would have liked. I was getting a few high wind warnings, but it was fairly steady. So I got a little pan around. I was gonna do a 360 photo on the way back. I should have done it now, but you'll see later on how it sort of rocks about in the wind a little bit. So I couldn't do the 360 photo this time. Never mind though, not the end of it. That's all the private drive there you're looking at. And there's the road to Dawlish. And of course, Holcombe, lovely. Nice and gentle pan round. And there's our green area becoming less and less prevalent in Devon, unfortunately. How long till that's all houses? Hmm, I don't know. Let's go and have a quick bomb along and see the slippage, shall we? Why not? It's just up there. Wee! Sped up, of course, you can tell by the cars. But a quick look at the slippage nonetheless. There it is. In the centre now. There he is. Smash in. Right, let's turn round, head back. As I say, getting the high wind warnings, unfortunately. Not like down on the seawall where it was quite pleasant. So we just head back over this house with a swim pool. And there I am in the orchard. Right, wobble wobble, there we go, that's the wind. So no 360 photo, let's bring him down. Whee! There he goes, all the way down to land on my hand. Smash in. So there we go, little drone flight. As you probably heard me saying in the voiceover that I haven't done quite yet, that uh, it was very much a case of high winds higher up. So I didn't get a 360 photo, but I just thought I'd walk now on foot a little bit further up the uh, up the orchard. Just found what I thought at first was a Cyberman from Doctor Who hiding in the bushes. Crazy. Let's carry on to the top while I'm here. Right by the main road. Oh, nearly slipped then. A bit steep. So anyway, this is a little secret orchard that I knew nothing about whatsoever until Philip told me about it. Isn't that crazy? Absolutely crazy. But now you know about it too. Let's hope I don't slip on the way down. Here we go though, must get a shot of that. Lovely molded painting or sculpture. It's really nice. Bench own love and memory of Dorothy Woodville, 1917 to 2005. And uh, of course, Jean Partridge, 52 to 21. Love living in Holcombe. An inspiration to the village and all in Ewer. Over there is a shark for some reason, which is a normal thing you'd find in a, in a orchard. So there we go, there's the two statue heads. And uh, judging by the way things are laid out, I believe there's a very good chance that uh, there's probably quite a bit more hidden away here that I didn't see. What's this? Little notice board, little area, seats. Oh, we are, it's all the whole community orchard, because that's the name of it, really. So it's not the secret orchard or anything. There's all about them doing it. Lovely. And that is indeed from the art trail, which I kind of knew anyway. So when they finish their stuff on the seafront, some of it comes to here. Lovely. Right, let's crack on. Well, like I say, I had absolutely no idea whatsoever that existed. So thank you very much, Philip. I enjoyed that and I enjoyed it so much. We're going to take the uphill route home. I'm a glutton for punishment. 
Here we are, back up onto the uh, Dawlish Road, which I've got to cross to get to a place to walk. There we go, crossed over, not too bad. Yeah, you can get the winds now up here that are affecting the drone. None down on the seawall though, but up here, yes, windy. And there's the mini dab from this side of the road for a change. Lovely. Tides can cut you off. Oh, my legs. <laughs> Our regular viewers will know that over there, Oak Hill Crossroad, which goes up past the old toll house there, and in that direction is where my auntie and uncle used to live when I was tiny. And uh, then they moved to the back beach. But when they were up there, apparently they had a bed and breakfast because it's turned up in one of my then and now books. So here we go, Joyal Raid. This was their house located up there. So there we are, Dickie, Dick and Joy Evely. No idea if that was them in the picture sat on the doorstep. Can't really tell, a bit too blurry. But fun nonetheless, Joy Raid. That was it. What a coincidence, eh? What a coincidence. So we've uh, veered off to the left, to the top of East Cliff Walk. We're just gonna walk down a little bit of it and then cut into mules from the top. Unusual to wander down the road this direction. At least I'm not walking up it like I normally am. <laughs> it's all downhill now, all the way. Lovely. That's a nest in the distance. Here we go. Into Mules Park. There's our wooden doggo. Lovely. You've still got your bandana on. Good boy. Gary hasn't been up yet, but he says he's going to replace that one with a new one. Lovely. Looks like someone to replace the string on it. Not sure. But it's still on him. That's what matters. I've certainly got my steps in today. No denying it. So five trees. I think I said at the start of the video, I wasn't going to go into Mules Park. Oh, it didn't turn out like that, did it? Never mind. There we go, we certainly did a loop, didn't we? Certainly did a loop today. Here we go, another couple of subscribers. Lovely, seeing them everywhere today. Smash in, thanks for subscribing. And without further ado, or any more waffle, I'll bring today's probably somewhat longer video to an end. Very nice, lovely to see Geoffrey. Lovely to meet up with all those subscribers. Couple staying at the Clifton, chap I met at the end of the wall, and those two in the car park. Lovely. And um, I love you and leave you. So hopefully you'll join me again tomorrow, something different. But the biggest thanks has to go out to Philip for uh, telling me about that place in the first place for me to go and do it. Without you, there wouldn't have been a video. It had been a blank day today, no video at all, so I wouldn't have thought of anything to do. <laughs> now, I'm sure I'd have managed something, but lovely. Thanks for that, Philip. Smash in. That will become a regular little, a little visitation when I pop down that way in the future. Cheers, mate. Cheers all. See you tomorrow. Bye.